Hello and welcome to an Isaac run. I tried to do the daily run today. The daily run gave me a little spinning Isaac head and then crashed. And then I went, oh, I will try again to do the daily run today. And do you know what happened? It said Altrius has a score of zero. So we're going to go and play this. Uh, my actual Isaac content here is somewhat lagging behind the dailies, mostly because I didn't really start uploading them until a while after I'd started recording them. I have a bit of a backlog, so this one will probably go up maybe a couple of weeks, actually. Uh, we'd like to not get hit here because this is an XL floor and we're doing... Um, well, A, we're Judas, so we only have one HP. B, when it's an XL floor, our deal with the devil chances are guaranteed, provided we don't get hit for red hearts damage. Uh, maybe I should be using... Don't hit me! This. This should one-shot all the spiders, which will make it a lot easier. Um, but don't forget, the items that we need are mostly angel room items. So maybe we will not be taking the deal with the devil at all. Now, there are two bosses. Oh, God. This room, though. There are two bosses on this floor. Help. And hopefully the first one will give us some HP or some sort of benefit that will make this Judas run a little bit less scary than often Judas runs can be. Somehow I survived that room without completely blowing it. Uh, this would be a great time to have... No, no soul man. This would be a great time to have the Book of Balal available. Maybe I should have picked up that. Um, <laughs> that the battery charge. Help. Oh, shit. What? Wow. Do not talk to me about this particular performance. I'd say don't do what I'm doing here, but I don't know what I'm doing here. So if you can recognize it in yourself and avoid it, definitely recommend that. But mostly what's happening here is I'm doing stuff and hoping for the best. And somehow I have made it through this room, not without even not dying. Didn't even get hit. Fucking yay. Here's one of our item rooms. So that's uh, one of the... Well, it's, I suppose it's the benefit of the first floor, XL floor, is that both of the first item rooms are free entry. And a bomb also helps. Two bombs, in fact. Will help us get this, which I think is... I can't remember how this works. It's not bombs. I don't want to go in there. So we'll pick this up now. And then maybe go and do this large room. It will give us two charges back. Yeah, it seems like a good time to do it. And uh, there's a there's a battery charge available if we really feel like we should be picking that up. Ah! That was terrible. You know what? That was on me. I screwed that up. I didn't know what to do. There was a champion in exactly the wrong place. It, it threw me. It threw me completely. Found our item rooms and boss, though. The uh, lemon party just ain't... Uh, sorry, not lemon party. Lemon mishap. I ain't gonna do it for me. Uh, yeah, Ho holy light is basically a... It's not a run winner. But it's a very excellent item. There's actually an HP right up there, so maybe I should have done that. Instead, I'm gonna go to the shop. Not through there, just in case. Hope that there's a spirit heart available, because I'd like to not die. And don't forget that we're not likely to want to be taking the deals with the devil, unless they're really, really good. We're basically going to want to walk out and try and get an angel room item. There's no deal with the devil, but there is a two cent red heart. Honestly, I think at this stage is probably worth it. It's not often that you'll see people buying red hearts. Still, we've been to both item rooms. You can't get to the curse room without a spirit heart, which is a shame. I'd like to go in there and see if we can get a, a devil item that maybe improves us to some extent. Man, Holy Light just knocks so much HP off, of, especially these early enemies. But also in a radius, which is just double plus amazingly unreally good. Ooh, he's nearly dead already, even though I nearly walked backwards into it. Perfect. Oh, the pacifier gives us... Yeah, it gives us a spirit heart. So now we have this, a spirit heart, to protect us. Like, the deal with the devil is already compromised, but it's not gone. If we get hit here, it's gone. We didn't get hit here. This is another spirit heart. So, oh, it's a full heart. Lucky Rock is also great. And this is shit, so it's actually working out really well for us. Obviously, the alternative is that we get a Krampus fight and don't get precedent in the first place. Lucky Rock will drop a guaranteed coin from every single rock that you break. It's going to incentivize trying to 
collect bombs and put them in sensible places. And I'm going to make the foolish decision of A, going into this room, which I didn't mean to do. You don't get... Well, you do get points for it, but I'm not counting points right now. Uh, I don't want to do this room, in case that wasn't clear. Got a key for it, though. I'm a fan of that, because I was wondering about the item room on the next floor. But I will, for some reason, go to the cursed room. Not necessarily advisable. Luckily... The thing that I hate the most was immediately taken out by Holy Light, which just goes to show why I think it's such a good, um, a good item. I mean, it's just objectively brilliant. I can't think of any situation in which the Holy Light damage is not a bonus. The only time it would not be great for you is if you just had some sort of tear effect that obliterated the Holy Light tear effect, like, uh, I suppose maybe Ipecac or Brimstone, that sort of thing. But mostly, by and large, you want this item. This item's going to do you well. It's going to, you know, it's going to call after midnight when it says it will. You know, it'll pick up the bill. It'll pay its way. You probably definitely want Holy Light dating your daughter. You can trust it. Now, I've started to get a little bit of too good to use on um, Book of Belial right now because we didn't get a damage upgrade. It's one of the things we didn't win. Now, what does Bursting Stack do? I'll use it here, sure. Um, so I'm going to want to use the Book of Belial whenever we think that our damage is not up to scratch for the room. And especially on this room where it's going to give us an extra uh, charge on it once we finish. Probably not going to go to the cursed room straight away. There's no door there, so let's just not walk through that. Uh, mostly because two spirit hearts is not hugely confidence inspiring. But as long as we can land some holy light shots, we should be getting through these rooms pretty quickly. Just so. That was a very timely shot. We can use this anytime we like. Why well, don't use it now? We've got a charge available. Yeah, this is uh, shaping up to be a decent run, despite the fact that it is not going to be an angel, uh, not going to be a devil room run. It's going to be an angel run. Okie dokie. Uh, ooh. Interesting. We don't see much use out of unicorn stump. And the reason for that is that it's not useful except in... I don't want to say a very specific set of circumstances because the set of circumstances in which Unicorn Stump is useful is quite broad range. It's basically any time you've got a decent orbital. Please explode. Thank you. But we don't. <laughs> and we're not likely to get one because the better ones are from rarish bosses, i.e. the horseman, or deals with the devil, which we're not taking. Here's our boss, which is kind of what I expected. So I'm not going to use my Book of Belial straight away, because better on the boss. Kill this thing. Thank you. So, I think Unicorn Stump is good for certain things. Like, if we find a blood bank, we can use it there, or we can get into the curse room for half price. You know, things like that, but... It's not really going to be a stupendously strong item for us in the long run. We're not going to be taking it with us unless we get something great right now. And honestly, from the deal with the angel, I don't think there is anything great that we could really be excited about in context of unicorn stump usages. Can you stop making those? I'm just dying a lot. So, unfortunately, this is one of the times when we're going to be using, leaving unicorn stump behind. We will take the HP and we will also explode this for some money, which was guaranteed. A bomb back, which is also really nice because there's another Tinted Rock. Uh, and the chance to get a small rock was also nice there, but we didn't. I would like a damage upgrade because our vanilla tears as I uh, Judas in Isaac. Um, vanilla tears are great for now. They will not last. Let's pick up Unicorn Stump. We're going very slowly, considering. Pick up Unicorn Stump. Uh, we'll take it to the Cursed Room and then we'll just bail. We have enough HP that I don't really worry about the half a spirit heart that we would spend using Unicorn Stump. But ah, this is really nice. Maybe we could get something out of this. This is actually exactly the sort of situation where you want to use Unicorn Stump. Mm, fuck. <laughs> Double plus fuck. Uh, that was really, really upsetting. I'm crying myself to sleep tonight. In case you missed it, <laughs> we got a curse room with 
combat. And the curse room with combat meant... Thank you. That we got another charge on Unicorn Stump. Unicorn Stump with a charge like that could have got us a lot of plays on the Demon Judgment who would normally take HP. But with Unicorn Stump, we'll be giving him it for free. Uh, there's nothing in here of value. So... Having got the charge back from the spiders, we're like, yes, we can use Unicorn Stump to play the Judgment and then spend the HP to get out, whereas otherwise we could have just used Unicorn Stump to get out, which is what we did. When we opened the red chest, there was bombs. So I was like, oh, kick the bombs away, try and get rid of them. Which then exploded in my face, as things are wants to do in this life. Yeah. Don't step on the spikes, you dumbass. Now we're bound to 6, H 6 HP again. Avoid this. Um, so, that wasn't a brilliant curse room. Things kind of did not go our way. Should maybe have not opened the red chest just in case? I mean, I know that troll bombs come out of red chests, but you don't think in those terms, do you? You don't go, I'm not going to open red chests in case troll bombs obliterate my demon judgment. Well, maybe I should have. I mean, how much experience do you need in this game to know that the red chest could obliterate your demon judgment? I hate this, though. I'm trying to dodge all these bullets. This isn't Gungeon. It's not even a bullet heli sort of game, really, is it? I mean, in some situations it is. But oftentimes, um, I find that Isaac's challenge is not entirely in bullet heliness, but in just dealing with the hand that you've been dealt. It's your damage, basically. Your damage will avoid more damage to yourself by killing things in time. And enemies have patterns, and you can avoid... Ooh. Take... Slightly better, I think, than the starter deck, which is also very good. But yeah, it doesn't have that that sort of um, outrageously bullet heli nature like Gungeon does. I'm just uh, recording this the day after I recorded an episode of Gungeon with James, who is our Gungeon Master in Chief. So, if you like Gungeon, go check that out, because. For once, me and James are playing the same game at the same time, and he knows how it works, not me. And it's, it's actually a very difficult game. You can watch people play it, and you can go, oh, that looks pretty easy. You know, they seem to be... They seem to know what they're doing. They do. <laughs> and I expect after a certain amount of experience with the game, you get to know what you're doing and start to play better, but it looks so much easier than it actually turns out to be. Especially if you're really used to Isaac. Because I found that a lot of the problem whilst playing the dungeon was that I was using Isaac tier mechanics and I was trying to avoid where the shop should be, not where the shop is. More deals with the devil. More shit deals with the devil, which is... I'm okay with this. I mean, we tend to get shit deals with the angel. We're expecting angel deals. So if we're not prepared to put up with shit rooms after the boss, we shouldn't be going for angel deals in the first place. Uh, I don't really want to be in this room. I can help it. Ah, you bugger. I should have stepped out. I didn't realise the... Uh... Well, I did realise the door was open, but not in the way that my brain connected to go through the door. We picked up the habit. Nun's habit will... Um, recharge your item once one tick every time you get hit. Which means if we get hit enough times <laughs> on a room, we can crack Book of Belial and start to do a bunch of damage. Which is usually going to be only twice. Because we're always going to have at least one charge on the Book of Belial, because we'll always get the charge from the room that we used it on. Uh, I'd kind of rather have it right here, actually. Oh, that was a very timely holy light shot. Thank you. So Nun's Habit and Book of Belial is a really good sort of damage booster as you go along through the game. We did get a Tears upgrade, didn't we, from Binky. Which I call the Pacifier because I've only seen North Americans... How did I dodge that? Um, play the game, but of course it's a, a dummy in the good old British of Isles. The United of Kingdoms. Makes us a little bit smaller, gives us some... Tears upgrade. We can't get into there because we have so much red HP, unfortunately. Where the fuckity fuck is my item room, then? Can we talk about this? Am I... Am I not worthy of an item room? Have I done something wrong? Have I offended you, oh, Master Game? Master Control bullshit. 
Does anybody actually say end of line? Did computers have end of line in the bad old days? Do I want to use this here? I think not. We've got an allergies rune, which is essentially equivalent to a one-shot uh, unicorn stump, which means we can try and pull the same play, except this time we can not blow up the demon judgment <laughs> before we get the opportunity to give it uh, a shitload of you know, Monopoly HP. In case you are trying to depause that, I was likening the currency of HP that the demon judgment uses to the concept of Monopoly money, which is obviously our usual method of financial transactions. In as much as Monopoly money is considered to be fake money, which it is, and then on top of that, oh, my fat finger, the Q key. Have I got any bombs? I do have bombs. It's probably a secret room. I'll just stop patronising you by explaining that joke. Don't worry about it. Uh, no, I can't be bothered pushing them all the way over there to explode those mushrooms. We've got the Hierophant, which I will just use straight away, actually. The poker chip is not a trinket I'm particularly a fan of. All it does is give you a 50% chance for each chest to have a double payout, and each 50% of the time it will have no payout, or a bad payout. <laughs> Which is nice, I guess. I think on average it, it gives you nothing extra. <sighs> but then, sort of why, do you see? It seems shit. Which is why I think it's shit. I mean, I think it's fair to say I think something's shit when I've just explained why I think it's shit. Mm. don't want to be too harsh on the old thing, but at the same time, it does kind of suck pretty bad. Let's get rid of the spawning thing, shall we? There we go. Holy Light every now and then is such a valuable item. And I'd forgotten... I didn't even mention the fact we just picked up a uh, Ball of Tar, which does actually... Not only give us sticky creep, which slows enemies down, but it gives us sticky shots every now and then, which also slow enemies down. That's that black one there. But it's actually a really good item, especially against those things that charge you. And I, I, I completely forgot. I didn't just m not mention it. I didn't even internalise that we had it. Man, a bomb would be great right now if you want to maybe see your way through to... No? Who needs to say Why not? Oh, okay. <laughs> But when, when things are charging us down like that, and I've just accidentally bunged down a whole lump of bunch of tar on the ground, it's all of a sudden a splendid item indeed. Now these fuckers are slowed down to all hell. Yeah, chase me down now, biatch. See how you like it. I'll go around you like this. I'll shoot the shit at you. It actually helps with those. There's the bomb that I asked for. Why did I want it? I wanted to check for a secret room next to the cursed room. Thank you. I remember now. If we can get a secret room next to the curse room, we get into the curse room for free. Could be here. Not there. What a waste of a bomb. It was the only one we had. I gave you that in good faith. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Fuck off, Edmund and Tyrone. Oh, shit. That nearly hit me. Somehow it didn't. Don't think I want the left hand. We haven't picked up any guppy items so far. And we haven't even ooh, been given the option to pick up any guppy items so far, so... I guess I'm not too salty about the fact we haven't had any, but... I would have liked to have had some. Yeah, that's pretty good. It also gives us our Book of Belial charge back, which is basically why I went in there. I thought, you know, we used our Book of Belial because we got hit. So we might as well get hit two more times and get it back. Oh, yeah, just walk into the fucking enemy. I don't... Who cares, right? Who cares wins? Let's try and deal with this in a sensible adult sort of way rather than a flailing child panic sort of way which is my usual you know mode of dealing with that particular situation oh it was a very good shot actually i can't even be mad it came down at just the right point that i was wandering my way back to that point when it returned and now that we've recharged our book of belial i don't seem to have any impetus to use it also if any of these item rooms or bosses could actually give me an upgrade of some description why not, I guess. If we die, we come back as Blue Baby. Yeah, brilliant. If I died as Judas, what makes you think Blue Baby's going to help, huh? 
Also, in what universe is this an upgrade? Not even in an Isaac universe is this an upgrade, and that's a completely doolally wacky old universe. Uh, I'm not spending 15 cents just to get deep pockets, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's not a terrible item. But it's my only 15 cents. Oh, I want more charge on my... That's very helpful. Uh, I was kind of hoping it would be this room. Mostly because it has things that can shoot me. Yeah, no. Um, I was going to say chests that can give me battery charges. But I guess um, could also give me Fate's Reward, which I'm super stoked to have. By which I mean, what the fuck. I hate this item. And I wish it would be deleted from the game. First thing we're going to do is delete Fate's Reward from after. It's not that bad. It occasionally fires. It's like a lame incubus. I'm going really slowly, but I kind of don't give a shit. I, I could go faster. I'm not going to say we're not doing the DPS. We're definitely doing the DPS required to get through these rooms faster, but I also want to give myself as much of an yeah, good job. Much of an opportunity as possible to find the two items that we need, which means we're going to be looking for perhaps places where items can just show up at random, not including the item rooms. We're also going to want to find the item rooms. Honestly, I guess Boss Rush is a place where you could find Fate's Reward. No, Fate's Reward is a shitty thing I've got. Um, the Crown of Light. But it's certainly not a place we can find Godhead unless you have Chaos, which means I want to go to the shops, see if we can find Chaos, and so on and so forth. This is a shit item. I guess we take three of the same pill. Oh, bad, bad trip, thank you. Trip. Look down three times. Okay. Well, thank you for the absolute trash items to date. So we're still doing vanilla Judas damage. We now have red hearts exposed. I'm wearing my hearts on my sleeve, you might say. Or you might not, because you have taste and some sense of decorum. But since when has Fate's Reward been an orbital? It's not an orbital. It was just it had some momentum. I do not want the tick. <sighs> Maybe I could get away with the tick. I don't know. I'd like to get into that room, but it doesn't look likely. Ooh, careful there. Good. The range on the holy light shots is super useful. Because any time you hit something that's chasing you, like these bastards, and there's something behind it, it also gets them. And these exploding things really need to go fuck themselves. Quite vigorously. And panache. Can you fuck yourself with panache? Can someone try and report back? Let me know how you fared. Are you spawning two fucking enemies at once? That's BS. Get out of here. A key. Do I want that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with the key. Now, we want to be on the other side of this cross when this thing lands. Ah, you fucking wanker. The Book of Belial does increase our chance of getting a deal with the devil or angel, I guess. Despite the red heart damage that we just took. But I am not very happy with it. This is one of those rooms where you feel sort of almost guaranteed to have taken the damage. This thing could give us some spirit hearts, so maybe I'll play it. I don't want to spend down past 15 cents because we could still get chaos. It could give us nothing at all. We did get a luck downgrade. Which means that all we get is shit trinkets we don't care about. Yeah, nothing but shit trinkets we don't care about. If we fancy it, we can put some bombs down and get some cash back to try and play it, but honestly, if we're going to use bombs to get spirit hearts, we might as well just hope for a tinted drop and deal with it that way. Very slow run. This is a room I've not actually seen before, I think. Maybe I have. All these bastards at the side of it, though. So it's like a pins room, so let's hang out here and wait for them to show themselves. No, it's a flying things room. Holy light, every now and then, still really helping me out. Oh god. Leave me alone. I hate these um, corn flies, as you well know. Still don't know how to control their movements, because obviously their movement is related to me. But what is their AI, though? It's fucking bullshit, that's what it is. Well, that was a dead end. It was a two-room charge dead end, but it was a dead end nonetheless. Do we want to use the blood bank until we can uh, um, get into the boss trap room? It couldn't have given me that holy light anytime sooner. What is going on? No one wants 
motherfucking bastard. What is it? That item. Glass cannon. No one wants glass cannon. Stay away from me. You stupid glass cannon. I don't want to hear your names for your dildos. Ooh, I dodged that. Do it again. <laughs> Bring it on. Come at me, bro. Greed, bro. What a fucking shot. Do you see that shit? What is this? Pool? No, it's the Binding of Isaac. Why are you shooting things with other things to try and get it into the right place? Because I'm just combining games. Don't even try. I'm fucking, I'm a maverick. I can't be stopped. I'm going to be the founder of all ever combined games in the whole world. I found the item room. Yeah, it was shit. I hate it. This is bullshit. Red mom? No worries. How about you crush this? Hello? There you are. Plenty of cash for this. All mom's doing is breaking these rocks for us. Yo. Not a fan of that. We've still got a chance at a deal with the devil, provided that A. Any of these shots hit. And B. We don't get hit. This is turning out to be a reasonably difficult fight. You can see how much your starting damage doesn't actually necessarily help you. Uh, during the mid to late game. And if we don't get a damage upgrade at some point, we're fucked. And it's not just that we haven't been taking... Ah! Oh, deals with the devil. I don't care now. Fuck it. Bring me back as blue baby. See if I get shit. The deals with the devil that we didn't take were also shit. We've just not been given anything. And this is what... If this hadn't been a Judas run, this would have been a complete train wreck. As it happens, it's just mostly a train wreck. Holy Light is the only thing carrying us right now. We have occasionally slightly more DPS than we deserve because Fate's Reward is doing some damage for us. Also, I have to avoid these mofos. Yo, though. Did it. Sorted. Yeah, great. Thanks. <laughs> Put the chest right over there. It's not like I obviously was having trouble with the gulf in the room. You didn't have to rub it in by putting a chest on the other side of it. Why am I trying this? It's room one. Close the unknown. Why am I trying all this bullshit? Oh god, we're dead. There's no way I can avoid all these. What the hell? Please, holy light, you're my only hope. Don't walk into the poop. It's a red poop, it will hurt. And you're dead. Let's take this, because it's hearts. Yeah, good idea. I don't know where they came from. Don't know why I was ignoring them. We'll just move on. Acknowledge that they have happened. No tinted rocks, because that would be nice. And the game is not nice. Don't forget, we're here for 1,001%. We're not here for a streak. Although every time we lose as a character we should be winning as, I feel like it's sort of a, a proto-streak. You know, it's not the number of wins in a row that we've had. It's whether we've died in a silly way that we shouldn't be dying in. That's a problem. So we just try and get through these floors as fast as possible, I suppose. Pin is here. Hello. You did not hit me. The range on those is too long. I thought bullshit, Tyrone. Uh, I kid, of course. I know exactly what the range on those is like. I just chose to hope for the best. And it didn't pay off. So be it. Please, holy light, just finish this off. Thank you. Not knowing my HP. Making me a little scared. Mildly trepid about the situation. Secret room. I've got a smudge on my glasses. Ah, uh, spirit heart. That helps quite a lot. Do you remember when we had two rows of spirit hearts? There was like eight of them. And then I just walked into every enemy under the sun to try and you know, give myself a little bit more of a challenge, I suppose. Oh yeah, this is exactly the right room I want to be in. It's not awful and scary at all. And of course they've scattered, so... Holy Light's not going to be quite as useful as it normally would be. Of course, while they were all close together, Holy Light didn't give me a single shot at all that landed. But that's okay. I'm not bitter. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. If we can slow them down, their shots won't reach us quite so readily. But they won't remain slowed down, so... Ooh, that was nice. That was also nice. Yes, more of those. Again, Holy Light is basically the only thing carrying us, and the reason it's carrying us is it's damaging more things than just that one thing. If this is not a secret room, I give up on secret rooms. Oh, I give up on secret rooms. Why is this room here? It's so obviously a secret room, 
and you troll me by it not being a secret room. What an odd layout for a floor. What an odd transition. That made me feel slightly nauseated. There is a tinted rook. More up? Nope. But two spirit hearts and a bunch of money. The money could be useful for maybe a a beggar in the future who will provide me with um, a, a benefit in terms of HP. Where did that come from? I know not. What is happening? There's always a shot or an enemy where I'm trying to dodge in this room. This is one of those rooms. You just have to suck it up and get through it as fast as possible. Let's open it. Steven. Perfect. Thank you for joining us, Steven. Now we've got actually large tears, which is making me slightly more confident than I was before we started. Please. Do some damage. Good. Excellent. Woo. Maybe we can beat Mom's heart on this room. I mean... There has been some bad play. I will certainly own that much. Luckily, we're at half heart interval, or we would be dead right now. But there's a lot of rooms down at this level where you just... It's not like you're guaranteed damage, but if you don't have enough damage to stop the things that are chasing you, it's essentially guaranteed, right? This is a fucking long floor. Uh, do it right. Or not at all. This is a damn long floor for being uh, not even an XL floor. Yike. Suddenly, now my life depends on it. I'm capable of dodging three shots. Excuse me, though. I really need you to not be doing what you're doing. Yes, we're hitting him. Die. Didn't die. Ah, poor next to me again. Well, now we're blue baby. Do we get a benefit? I expect not. We do get a small benefit, which is that the champions are no longer champions. Um, but they still keep disappearing just as my shots arrive, which is still bullshit. You saw the fucker spawn next to me and immediately shoot me, though. It's not me. Just, like, imagining shit. This does happen all the fucking time with these assholes. There we go. We can use Book of Belial twice if we really want to. I hate you! What am I supposed to do about that? Huh? Can't fly. We don't have any damage. The blue babies. So we can't take red hearts. We don't have start bum to assist with that particular conundrum. We didn't get any deals with the devil that would have... Whatever. <laughs> we didn't get any deals with the devil. We wouldn't have taken them. We didn't get any options. We didn't get a deal with the angel, which I was hoping for. That was a bad way to lose a run. We had enough damage, I think, to have beaten the Fallen there, but I just got so disheartened. I think I, I threw. I threw. Let's just say what it, like it is. I lost that run through fault of my own. But we'll try again soon. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, do not forget to subscribe so you can see the rest of them. We have another daily run uh, playlist, so go and check that out. And uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.